Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Our hearts are filled with love, our lips are filled with song. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. We know you love us all, we know you call us friends. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. We come to share your bread, we come to drink your wine. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Lead your children, Jesus, to the altar. Lead your children, Jesus, here we come. Let us offer this Mass for the following intention. Archdiocese of Vishakapatnam, Bucci Rajapalam Parish. This Mass is offered for Elizabeth on her birthday for good health and thanking God for all the graces received by Thadi Francis, Swarnalata, Ravi, Kiran, Prashanti, Teresa, Vogayasi and all family members. And let us also pray for all the donors of Divyavani TV channel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. To your brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. She was very much merciful and generous and she was kind enough to be with the poor and to take care of the poor. And she had so many hurdles in her desire to be with the poor, but in spite of that she was able to move forward and serve the neighbor such a wonderful person and today we remember her. As we remember Elizabeth of Hungary, let, let us also look into our personal lives and see, do we have the desire to serve the poor and needy and are we able to take care of our neighbor? At times we are unable to do so. Most of the time we fill our hearts and lives with selfishness. Recalling all those moments, let us feel sorry and ask God's pardon and mercy and make ourselves worthy participants in this banquet of love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Apocalypse. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Sardis write, the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have the name of being alive and you are dead. Awake and strengthen what remains and is on the point of death. For I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Keep that and repent. If you will not awake, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come upon you. Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in the white for they are worthy. He who conquers shall be clad thus in white garments, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says in the churches. And to the angel of the church in Laodicea write the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. I know your works, you are neither cold nor hot. Would that you were cold or hot, so because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you, spew you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, nor knowing that you are rich, wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore, I counsel you to buy from my gold, refined by fire, that you may be rich, and white garments to clothe you and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen and slave to anoint your eyes, that you may see. Those who, whom I love, I reprove and chasten, so be jealous, zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him, and he with me. He who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne, as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear with what the Spirit says to the churches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Those who prove victorious, those who prove victorious, I will allow to share my throne. I will allow to share my throne. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue. Your response. Those who prove victorious, those who prove victorious, 
I will allow to share my throne. I will allow to share my throne. He who does not wrong does no wrong to his brother. Who casts no slur on his neighbor? Who holds the gold god, godless in disdain, but honors those who fear, fear the Lord? Your response: Those who prove victorious. Those who prove victorious. I will allow to share my throne. I will allow to share my throne. He who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent. such a man will stand firm forever your response those who prove victorious those who prove victorious i will allow to share my throne i will allow to share my throne Alleluia 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 Sing his message loud and clear Alleluia Jesus Christ our Lord is near Alleluia 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 Jesus is the Lord of life Alleluia Sing over death and strife Alleluia 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 The be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord jesus entered jericho and was passing through and there was a man named zacchaeus He was a chief tax collector and rich and he sought to see who Jesus was but could not on account of the crowd because he was small of stature so he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way and when Jesus came to the place he looked up and said to him Zacchaeus Make haste and come down for I must stay at your house today so he made haste and came down and received him joyfully and when they saw it was they all murmured he has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner and Zacchaeus stood and said to the lord behold lord the half of my goods i give to the poor and if i have defrauded any one of anything i restore it fourfold and jesus said to him today salvation has come to this house since he also is a son of abraham for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost the gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ dear friends in christ jesus 
Today we have the beautiful reading where God the Almighty Father is showing a way and he's giving the solution for all of us because most of the time we think that we are notorious sinners and we always feel that we may not go into heaven or experience the salvation in our lives because of the sinfulness what we have. But today Jesus Christ, by entering into the house of Zacchaeus, he has given every one of us that there is a way to get rid of our sins and experience the mercy and grace of God and to always enter into heaven and have the beatific vision of God the Almighty. Dear friends in Christ, Zacchaeus was a notorious sinner because he was selfish and greedy. And because of the greediness what he had, he was collecting more taxes, more than what he was supposed to collect from the people. He tortured them, he humiliated them, and he really cheated everyone only because of the selfishness. And every person hated Zacchaeus in the tradition. And Zacchaeus had got a lot of wealth, lot of property, lot of money, but very, very few friends, very, pe very few people to love and very pe few people to share everything with him. So dear friends in Christ, in our day-to-day -day lives also, we too might experience the same similar situation because of our greediness, greediness for money, greediness for power, and greediness for all the things around the world, we always lose the friendship of people and we become isolated and finally we lose peace, joy and happiness in our lives. But today, Jesus Christ is inviting every one of us. We need to remember these three important things in our spiritual journey. The first one is, we need to accept the divine invitation for repentance. And Jesus gave this divine invitation to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus ran to see Jesus, and when Jesus came into his house and offered him this invitation of repentance, Zacchaeus transformed himself, and he converted, and the conversion led Zacchaeus to distribute the property to the needy and the poor. And we need to accept this divine invitation for repentance and transform ourselves and experience the grace of God. And secondly, dear friends in Christ, we need to love others in spite of their sinfulness, as Jesus Christ has loved Zacchaeus. Since Christ loved Zacchaeus, there was transformation in Zacchaeus. Similarly, if we are able to love our neighbor in spite of their sinfulness, we too may give the same similar transformation to our neighbor. And finally, dear friends in Christ, we need to free ourselves from selfishness and choose generosity. Because the selfishness always makes us to go away from the love of God, from the presence of the Almighty. Selfishness always makes us isolated, and selfishness always makes us to experience meaningless in our day-to-day -day lives. And that's why we need to choose generosity, and we need to move forward in embracing our neighbors. And finally, dear friends in Christ, we need to remember this, the church is the hospital for sinners, and it is not the museum of saints. The church is the hospital for sinners and not the museum of saints. So go for mass, be in the presence of God, and experience the mercy of the Almighty, and heal your lives from sinfulness, and experience the love of God, and then transform your lives into meaningfulness and live in the presence of the Almighty. And let us pray 
and ask God to have mercy on every one of us and to forgive our sins. Amen. Let us put forward our prayers and petitions to the Almighty Father. Let us pray for Pope Francis, for all the bishops and clergy and religious. May Almighty God bless them abundantly with wisdom and knowledge to always lead the faithful to transform their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the political leaders. May Lord inspire every one of them to always be at the service of the poor and needy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember all the sick. Almighty Father, extend your healing touch towards all the people who are suffering with various diseases. And through your healing touch, may they experience good health and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us remember all the donors of Divyavani TV channel. Loving Father, accept their generosity and accept their intentions and may they always experience your grace and blessing in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. Almighty ever-living Father, fill our hearts with your love and help us always to repent for our sins and to experience your mercy in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My hands I give to use for thee, for yours are torn from Calvary. Those hands that knew a cobbler straight were nailed that day for me to save. No greater gift can ever be than that which God it gave to me. For long ago He gave to us the greatest gift we'll ever see. My heart I play to love for thee for yours did break on Calvary a heart that knew no love and death my heart I gave its love to share no greater gift can ever be than that which God did give to me For long ago He gave to us The greatest gift we'll ever receive Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of abundance, boundless charity 
may by the example of blessed Elizabeth of Hungary be conformed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as one with voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thumabala, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ be beside me, Christ be before me, Christ be behind me, King of my heart, Christ be within me, 
lies be below me Christ be above me never to part Christ on my right hand Christ on my left hand Christ all around me shielding the strong Christ in my sleeping Christ in my sitting Christ in my rising light of my life Christ be in all hearts thinking about me Christ be in all times telling of me Christ be the vision in eyes that see me in ears that hear me Christ they will be Let us pray Grant we pray O Lord that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of blessed Elizabeth of Hungary who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit May almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Go forth the mass is celebrated Thanks be to God Walking with the Lord we are walking in the morning lift up your hearts for we are walking with God singing to the Lord we are singing in the sunshine lift up your hearts for we are singing to God hand in hand with everyone we are walking walking black and white and brown together walking walking singing new songs now living new lives Building new bridges, walking distant miles. Well, we are walking with the Lord. We are walking in the morning. Lift up your hearts, for we are singing with God. Singing to the Lord, we are singing in the sunshine. Lift up your hearts, for we are singing to God. Share your joy with everyone while walking, walking. If we share, the Lord will bless us. Walking, walking. singing new songs now living new lives building new bridges walking distant miles will we are walking with the lord we are walking in the morning lift up your hearts for we are walking with god singing to the lord we are singing in the sunshine lift up your hearts for we are singing to god lift up your hearts for we are singing to god